How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to another collab with the beautiful Amy Miranda and also Marlene from Fab and Glam Over 50. Today is the um, three, three question tag. So if you guys would like to hear what the three question tag is all about, then keep on watching. Okay, so um, yeah, first of all, check out Amy Miranda and Marlene, uh, Fab and Glam Over 50. I will have their links down below, so please go and check them out. The three questions tag. So the first question, I think it's I think basically what Amy was going for when she brought this to us and you know um, had come up with the ideas for some of these um, videos and collabs and everything. Um, I think it was like maybe three questions that maybe you guys are a little curious about um, that maybe you guys would ask, you know, uh, a little more in information about us, you know, like who are we and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go with like, um, you know, yeah, like who am I? So I can ramble on as y'all can tell. And that's a downfall for me a lot of times because I'm just one of the people I love. I'm a talker, I guess. Um, but uh, I won't. Like, I'm obviously not going to give information like where I exactly live at because, you know, none of us should ever do that. Um, I mean, I can tell you I live in Pennsylvania and I live outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the big city, you know, the Pittsburgh Penguins, the everybody see my mug, my the Steelers. <laughs> a lot of people see my mug, which I'm going to take a drink. But anyway, um, yeah, it's the Steelers, the Pirates, the hockey. Um, you know, I grew up in a small town that's right next to the town I'm living in now. Uh, both towns were actually rivalries at some point now where they made one school and put a whole bunch together now. So a little bit about me. Well, the town I live in now, when I was a little girl, I used to think it was like a big city like Pittsburgh, like a big city, because it did have that big city atmosphere kind of a thing. To a kid, it probably would. And the town that I grew up in, it was, it, it's a small town, but so is this one. But like, again, like I said, as a, to a kid, to me, there was so much more that used to go on here in this town, stores and everything. It was like department stores, everything, you know, it was kind of a, you know, um, cool place to come, you know, when you were a little kid and everything. I would probably have to say growing up, obviously a majority of us girls, um, Barbies, as into the Barbies, I had all kinds of Barbie stuff, like the townhouse, the boats, the campers, um, just everything. I had all the Barbies, uh, what was it, uh, PJ, Francis, Skipper, um, Ken, of course, you had to have Ken, how can I forget Ken, you gotta have Ken. I was very imaginative, I, I feel, I feel I was very imaginative. My mom even used to say that, oh my goodness, like some of the things if my mom like would have known that we did back then, uh, my brother and I, we used to love to go on adventures. That was one thing, like he got into mysteries, my brother did, and uh, I got interested in some things. My, my brother actually wanted to be a writer, writer is what he was, he was going to aim for at one point. We used to go in the town that I used to live in and grew up in, we used to go along these paths and stuff and um, one, of, one of the paths that we went, oh my goodness, like we, we, we actually climbed up to the top of this one hill. I have to sit a little bit to the side here because my I have problems with my legs. If go, a lot of people don't know, you want to know something about me, I have major problems with my legs. So I sometimes have to kind of work with what I have to work with. So anyway, um, so yeah, we used to go on these paths and we we were climbing this one going up a, a hill area and a bunch of rocks and everything. And a lot of people used to do that anyway because to go see the football games for the high school, um, that's where the football field would be at, up this hill. But why me and my brother did climb that, I don't know. Because I remember being a little bit scared. I mean, God forbid we would... Some of the stuff you do that you think later, like, why? Why did I do that? You know, like, as I got older and everything... Um, we moved out of the town. We moved into this town where I'm at now. This area that I live in now, I felt, not that I didn't have friends where I grew up at, but I just felt like I had more closer friends 
here. I had a couple close friends where I live, grew up at, but I had a lot more here where I live at now. Yeah, I was, you know, ecstatic to go ahead and move in the town that I pretty much felt like I knew a lot more people. Sadly, I don't know all the streets. Like if I if I was in my the town that I grew up in, I know all the streets. Here it's like so somebody still to this day will ask me like, where's this street at? And I'm like, oh, like duh, Lori, <laughs> like how long have you known? You know, I, I still don't know all the streets around here. So you know, I am not good for that. Like if somebody if somebody literally asked me, that would be something else to ask me for directions. Mm -mm. Nope. I would be like, you go here, make a right, go up that way, go left. And I'd have them so lost. Probably for the second question, you know, what are my, maybe my hobbies or anything that I enjoy outside of YouTube um, or beauty outside of all that? Like what other things I maybe enjoy or do? I do get fascinated with the Victorian era. I do get fascinated with that. Like, I would love to go into some older homes. I mean, man, who who wouldn't though? I mean, some of the older homes that maybe don't have anybody living in it or something. Um, I always like to sit back um, and think of who, who used to live here, uh, what the house maybe looked like, um, what were the people like. Um, I have fascination with stuff like that. When people ask me um, what era, if I could go back, go into an era, what era would it be? And I would always say the Victorian era. And I'm like, I know the makeup wasn't so much whatever as it is now. And, you know, it'd be more of a challenge. But it's just, you know, yeah, the dresses and just see everything how it was then. Uh, Y'all know me you with know, my whole ghost hunter stuff and all those kind of things. I mean... I would love to go into, and I would love to go to one of the places and like that you can go to and do like an investigation kind of thing, like go with a group and just be a part of that. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, not, not everybody's into that and I respect that, you know, not everybody believes in all that kind of stuff. Um, instead of me calling him more like a ghost, I would say more spirit. Now that dresser that you see that like, um, there's boxes and different stuff here from, my uh, aunt and um, my aunt's house, my grandma's house actually, it was my grandma's house, but my aunt ended up living there afterwards. Um, that is an old dresser that was in the house and I know it, it, it's an old dresser definitely. So I'll put in a clip here uh, just so you can see a little bit of the dresser. It's this dresser right here. Still have some stuff I need to put away but it's this dresser. Sorry if I'm wiggly and wobbly, but it's this dresser right here. There's some boxes that we got from the house that we still need to put away and that, but that's the mirror as you can see. And um, this was one of the treasures I found upstairs. Gorgeous. I mean, like, look at the detailing on the, you know, handles there. Just beautiful. So can't wait to decorate that. How about some crazy, funny moments of myself? Because <laughs> a lot of people got a kick out of me talking about the swimsuit ordeal. Um, my first experience on a roller coaster. Uh, well, yeah, a roller coaster that had a loop actually. Because I think I've been on ones before, but not with the loop. And um, in Kennywood, if you know Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh has Kennywood, that's the amusement park, that's the big amusement park around here. Um, they had a thing called the laser loop, and all it was was it would go uh, straight shot forward, like within like 60, 70 miles per hour, like, and all, all it did was go through a loop and go up, it would go up and stop at the tip, and then you go backwards on the loop, and then you go back to the tip and then come back again and it, and it would do its stop there, like breast stop. And so it wasn't like a long ride, but it was an experience to go upside down and in a loop. Well, I was scared crap, as my friends like talked me into it, you know, and I'm thinking, oh my God, what am I doing? What am I doing? I remember I was so nervous. Now, mind you, there's gonna be a little swearing here, so pardon 
pardon the French and the swearing and whatever and all that kind of stuff. Just pardon that. I mean, if you don't want to hear, I mean, it's not extreme, but you know. So we're ready to go. And I could just feel, you know, like my nerves, like, oh my God, like, what did she talk me into? So there we are, and it goes. And all I can remember is saying, holy shit, holy shit, holy, at the F word, I'm not going to say it, but the old, holy, and, and holy shit, holy shit. And I just, I was saying, <laughs> the whole entire time we went around the thing and we went up. Like, you know, as I was saying, the whole way around through. And then when we stopped or whatever, and the thing pops up off from your shoulders like some of them do. I just looked at her and I was like, wow, that was fun. Let's do it again. And it was just so funny because I thought, I can only imagine the people around me because that's, that's, they probably thought, that girl has a potty mouth, you know, because I just, it just came out. But I do do that. I do do that. Like, I do my, it's, it's almost like potty mouth comes out, like if something scares the bejesus out of me or something. Another time, and, and this was at Kennywood, um, oh my god, me, because me and my friend Kelly, this is, this is, this is gonna be all Kelly. She's a nut, nutcase, like, I love her, like, she's just, she's funny nuts is what I mean. I guess I shouldn't say nutcase, but she's just, she's funny, but she's, she's very outspoken, but she, she's a riot. Well, they have the Pittsburgh Plunge, which is this, uh, like, big rafty boat thing that you're on. And uh, it just goes, like, up this big long hill, goes around a turn, and then just goes straight down. And all this big, humongous, like, loads of water splashes onto you. So you go straight down. And I believe we were in the front seat or the second to the front, but I'm thinking front seat. Now, I was thinking... This was my thought. I was thinking since we were in the front seat, we weren't going to get too much wet because I figured a lot of the water might splash towards the back and get everybody. I, yeah, this was my thinking. Don't know why I thought that. As it comes to our point where we're going straight, straight down, I remember her saying, but it was like at the last minute or maybe, I don't know. I think she said duck. I don't know. It was like too late. Like that water came splashing all over my face. And I mean, I was soaked from head to toe. And I can remember her just laughing, laughing her butt off. Like she knew that that's what, like, there was other people that were soaked, but yeah, we got the worst of, like some of the people in the front, like we, we got the worst of it. And I thought, damn it, why did I believe for that moment like why you know but it was quite funny because when we went down it was just like as we're going down she goes duck you know when you're doing that and going straight down like that sometimes yeah I mean I didn't have the full on time to quickly you know, yeah also they used to have like a haunted house you could go through and this was me and Kelly again like so these are gonna be with Kelly because that's pretty much a lot of my crazy moments was with her um we went to a haunted house and um, it was an old abandoned house, and it did look pretty spooky and crazy enough. It was by a cemetery, which was even spooky enough. But we'd go all the time, and it was kind of funny because, like, some people in there would know who we were or recognize us. You know, of course, we didn't know who they were. It'd be like, you know, but they would know who we were because they were all disguised or costume or had the makeup on. So we go in, it was just her and I, like usually we go in a group because a lot of them you can go in a group like four or five, maybe or six, I think six was like the most. And I was one of them people that would be in the middle, like the middle of the group, you know, middle group. And as we're walking, um, I know she was quiet for a while, you know, or whatever, cause she, and she had her hand on my shoulder and everything. She, she was like walking along with me. And I thought, what the heck? And I went to say something, or there was just something that told me, and I turned around, <laughs> turned around, and I seen this, this, this furry, hairy, paw-looking thing on my shoulder. And I'm just like, and I scream, and she's like way towards the back, like the back area, like where some of them were at. And 
she kind of chuckled she had a laugh you know about it and everything like there were some of them standing and they were all kind of like laughing like gotcha you know it's like <laughs> not funny you know this is what i wanted to say you know like how not funny but yeah i mean it was funny now when i think about it but at the time i was just like ah you know and but the one of the characters i disliked very much was um the guy with the the chainsaw like the chainsaw person oh my goodness i hated that i used to uh, creep me out like as soon as I'd hear that I'd be like oh my god you know I think that's about it that I can do now I mean I could tell you I could sit here and talk forever and tell you some of my crazy moments um other things about me and you know but I think I'll just end it there pretty much you know with some crazy funny moments that uh my friend Kelly and I did I would love to get her on here sometime actually but I don't know if YouTube could take it. <laughs> just you, you, she's she's just she's a wild one. She's a wild child. So anyway, if you guys uh, can remember, please go and check out Amy uh, and Marlene. Please go check both those ladies out. Their links will be down below, and see what the, they have to say. I'm kind of interested to hear what them two have to say. So all right, beauties, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. I'd love that so much and I appreciate it. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can again click the subscribe button down below and join me each week. I do have videos up every week. So as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. Until the next time, you guys take care. I will see you then. Love you. Bye.